He's singing a song as we go along, walking in the window in the land. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Gremlins. So before I do review Gremlins, my guest star, Nay, aka Stupid Beagle Reviews, is going to be reviewing Gremlins. So Nay, take it away. Hi everybody on 22 Tiger Dude's channel. It's great to be back here. I was on here like a month ago reviewing Attack of the Clones, which is a movie I hate with a passion. Now I'm reviewing a movie called Gremlins, which is basically about this kid who gets this pet. Very strange pet. There's a lot of rules that you have to remember when you own this pet. Like you can't give him water, you can't feed him after like midnight. This is all kinds of things that you have to remember while raising this pet. And this pet is Gizmo, and he's a little cute little fluffy thing, but then when he gets water all over him, he multiplies and there's a bunch more creatures, and they end up getting fed after midnight, which is a big no-no, and they turn into these really creepy messed up creatures and keep multiplying and wrecking havoc all over the city, and that's basically what this movie is about. It's like a comedy sort of horror movie. So Gremlins is a classic. It's very nostalgic for many. A lot of people really, really love this movie. And I'm going to be the first one to come out and say, I think it's a little bit overrated. I'm not saying Gremlins is a bad movie. I like it. I just think it's a little bit too overrated. And I have quite a few problems with this movie that I'll get into later. But I gotta start with the things I like. I really like the main teenage boy in this movie. He's really cool. I think he's a good character and he's very relatable because he's a young teenage boy and yeah he's pretty good <laughs> and gizmo is really cute really really cute character all the gremlins are very entertaining when the gremlins are doing the really go goofy crazy things it's very entertaining to watch and i really like them i really like all the gremlins his dad goes, does a good job his mom who ends up being really cool later in this movie she actually does some pretty cool stuff. <laughs> I'm not gonna spoil, but she does some crazy stuff later in this movie, and his mom is really good. I like her. They really seem to realize that this movie is really ridiculous and never would actually happen, and it's not like an actual scary movie. It's more of a horror comedy, I guess, and they really embrace that. This movie is very, very hilarious and very funny at times. There are times when you bust laughing in this movie because it's mainly a comedy. Especially when the gremlins are doing their crazy stuff. There's this one point where the gremlins make it so that this old lady who has like one of those chairs that goes down the stairs for you because they're kind of old and can't walk down the stairs and there's this one point that they make the chair go super fast and it goes like flying and stuff like that is hilarious. <laughs> that is a very funny part of the movie. I really like it when the gremlins are in like this big theater watching Snow White. That was very funny. And they really do embrace the fact that this movie is ridiculous, and I like that. The scenes where they have to fight off the gremlins is so much fun. Like, the part where the part where there's a bunch of gremlins all over the, the kid's house that the mom has to fend off. That was awesome. I really like that part. It's like she kills the gremlins in all kinds of crazy ways. Like, she'll shoot one. She'll, like, one gremlin would end up inside of, like, a blender. One of them would be inside a, I guess, microwave and then explode. That's all hilarious stuff. The, the part where they're like in this store and like the main character has to fend off the rest of the gremlins that are alive and Gizmo's just around like riding in this little car thing at a toy store. This, that's all so much fun. I, this, is, this is where the movie really seems to shine when they're fighting off gremlins. That's where the movie is at its peak in my opinion. And that brings me to one of my flaws of this movie is that the subplots that are in this movie aren't interesting in the slightest to me. There are a lot of bland characters involved with these subplots like they focus on the kid's job and it's just like who cares? Nobody really cares about your job kid. And there's like this weird subplot where this old lady wants to I guess confiscate this dog for doing some crazy things kinda like the witch from Wizard of Oz. Why do we need that subplot there? That's totally unnecessary. And they also have a romance blooming between the main character and this girl. I didn't find this girl to be interesting in the slightest. She was just kind of a bland, boring character that didn't really do anything. I did not like her. I did not really find her character particularly interesting. Yeah, it's just like all the subplots of this movie involving the kid's life, I guess, 
they're just not interesting because you want to go back to all the gremlin stuff. Whenever they focused on his job or his romance, I just found myself going, go back to the gremlins. Go away from this. But overall, Gremlins is a really fun movie. I really like it. I think it's a little bit overrated because there are a lot of flaws I do have with this movie. But that being said, I'm going to give the Gremlins a B+. I think it's a very fun movie. I just don't think it deserves to be praised like one of the best Christmas movies ever. So I hope you guys all enjoyed my segment once again on this channel. And Tiger Dude, thanks for having me on here. It's really cool that someone actually wants me on their channel. I find that to be kind of crazy, so thanks a lot for having me on here again. That's... Boom. Okay, Tiger Dude, back to you. Thank you so much, Nate, for reviewing Gremlins. Gremlins, in my opinion, is definitely a holiday classic. I thought this movie was awesome. It's an absolute blast to watch, and it's a pretty different Christmas movie because not only is it a Christmas movie, but it's kind of a horror movie in a way, or at least a Christmas movie with horror elements into it. It's really cool. It blends the horror stuff and the Christmas stuff, so in a way, it's a movie you can kind of watch during the Halloween season and in the Christmas season. Kind of like The Nightmare Before Christmas when you think about it. And Gremlins is just such a great movie and really fun to watch because of the concept and how it was executed. This movie is executed so well. It's very well written by Chris Columbus and Chris Columbus, you know, he's a very talented director and writer. His writing for the movie was very clever. It was very funny, but it could also get kind of creepy at times, especially when you get to the second half because that's where all of the gremlins chaos really kicks in with this movie. And I just thought Chris Columbus did a really great job. All the performances are really great, like Zach Gilligan. He does a really great job as Billy. And the actors who play the parents, they're fantastic. And everyone in this movie really does do a very good job in this film. And then, of course, that little gremlin. He's just so freaking adorable. Speaking of the gremlins, their character designs were very unique. They looked really creative. And the practicality this film brings to Gremlins was truly breathtaking. Like, I really love the practical effects. I thought it really fit for the world of Gremlins. And it's really cool to see how chaotic this film gets at the second half. Because the first half is just a build-up. You know, he gets a Gremlin, everything's all nice and all. And that's when they're starting to discover what happens when you don't follow the rules. And then the second half is when they have to try to get all the gremlins because they're attacking the town and it gets really awesome and it's so ridiculous I love that this movie really embraced some of the ridiculous moments that happen when the gremlins are attacking cinematography it's so beautiful the direction is well done by Joe Dante as I said and as I also said very well written by Chris Columbus it's very well acted from everyone I will say it's a very well paced movie too I'm never bored watching the movie it's funny how a movie like this can get you into the Christmas spirit like it just does and it works it's a very original concept and I loved how they brought this original concept to life it really is just so much fun it is the definition of a movie you could just have so much fun with either on the time of Halloween or on a time like Christmas now, my flaws with Gremlins, however, and it is my biggest flaw with this movie, is that it does have a couple of unnecessary subplots. There's a subplot with Billy's love interest that I don't think is really necessary, and I didn't really care for the girl that he's in love with either. It's not a character I was, like, really connecting with. So I did feel like the romance subplot wasn't really necessary for Gremlins. And there's this other subplot where this bitter old woman just wants to take away Billy's dog. We also have the cliches where the policeman doesn't believe in that character until they see the chaos themselves. That cliche is there and it did bug me just a little bit. Overall you guys, Gremlins is a great horror Christmas movie with ridiculous moments, amazing special effects, just letting you have a lot of fun with amazing acting. It really embraced its concept and had a lot 
lot of fun with it. Great direction, great writing all around. Definitely very creative, and it's definitely a movie I can always go back to watching, especially around this time of the year, whether it be Halloween or Christmas. And if you guys haven't seen it, I would personally recommend you seeing Gremlins. So with all that being said, I am going to give Gremlins three and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of Gremlins. And I would also love to thank my guest star, Nate from Stupid Beagle Reviews, for coming here to review Gremlins. He's a very cool dude, you guys. Very great channel. So if you guys want to check out his channel, I will leave a link in the description below. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Dog Power!